football team. Coach Ferris does a tremendous job. Appreciate the way they play. The fundamental soundness they have as an entire football team. Always have. Great place to play, great environment to play in. Um, obviously, we didn't play on offense with the same soundness. We had only had three drives in the first half. Um, the first one ended in a bad snap. The second one started with a penalty. The third one ended with a turnover. On defense, they had, we had, they had four series to defend. We held them two field goals. We got the one touchdown late there, and then we got them to punt. So they did a great job. Of, obviously, the way, it was windy, and I thought they did a tremendous job of, of managing that, running the ball, I and mean, getting moving, and staying, you know, getting the first first down. On offense, we didn't do that. I mean, we got two defensive guys sitting here. Our defense was on the field a long time. We've obviously got to get them off the field a little bit. They, had, they did convert some third downs, but on offense, we've got to play better. And uh, it comes back to soundness. It comes back to the, the not shooting ourselves in the foot. So that falls directly on me. Uh, and I will do a better job. And we will come back next week and we'll play sounder on offense. So I'll let you ask these guys some questions. Trey Watson and Jess Hanna Bowen will take questions for them. Then Coach Aster. Trey, in, in terms of the way the game goes, your offense is barely on the field, and you guys are still really in the game right until end of the first half. They, they scored that touchdown. What does that do in terms of, I mean, physically and mentally, what does that do as the game wears on? I mean, you know, our objective is to get off the field on third down. Um, you know, unfortunately, we understand that when those long drives happen, that's because we failed to do that, and, that, you know, that falls back on us. You know, sure, you know, offense getting first downs gives you breaks in between them, but if we get ourselves off the field, we'll be in a better position, you know, throughout the game, and unfortunately, we just weren't able to do that. I mean, you know, you play 70, 80, I don't know how many plays you play, but you play that many plays, I mean, you know, it's going to wear on you no matter how well conditioned you are. Um, and, you know, they, they made some plays some, in some crucial situations that, um, you know, we failed to make, and that, you know, that, that puts you in a bad spot throughout the game. What, what does a nine-minute offensive drive from Iowa do for your defense? Like, what, is the toll, what toll does it take on you guys? You don't have that long. Um, I mean, it's just a long time, you know. Um, you know, in the course of a drive, you have to correct, you know, mistakes you made. And, you know, fortunately, in, in some spots, we were able to do that, especially moving into the um, second half. But, I mean, those plays just wear on, you know. Um, you know, the offense can sub a lot of guys in. We can sub as well, but it's more so, you know, you want to have, you know, your best available guys on the field at all times. So, um, you know, it's just, it's just disappointing. Um, you can't get off the field on multiple third downs. You give up, you know, a one- or two-yard play, and that moves the chains for them. That's incredibly disappointing, and you know, just it just wears you down. Wayne. Jesse, they ran a lot of edge runs at you. Did they outnumber you at the point of attack, and were you looking for that type of running game today? Yeah, I mean, we expected that a lot today. You know, we game plan for that. You know, they, we we noticed right away, right off the bat, that they're going to do a lot of a lot of boundary run game, and so you know, they they attacked their boundary real hard, and I mean, you know. A lot of times they had two on me. A lot of times it was just one, but you know it was just it's just a matter of, of holding the edge all day, and that was a that was a big correction that you know we had to implement you know throughout the game, and because that was that was a point of emphasis throughout the whole uh, defensive game on all and all all phases and all drives. So that was a real point. Uh, for Trey, obviously I looked at the tight end a lot. You won your first battle with that with the pick. They had a few completions. What was it like covering those big tight ends, and how do you think your coverage was today? I mean, coming into the game, you know, we knew they were two talented guys, but um, as I said before, you know, the week started, um, we felt like we had, you know, good matchups for those guys. You know, we have safeties who can cover really well. Um, you know, we trust our nickel in space, and, and coaches trust me as well. Um, you know, we felt that we, we limited, you know, the big plays, the down-the-field ones. Um, you know, there's probably one or two that we want to really have back, um, you know, some rub routes that they were able to, get open in a screen, you know, that got a, a mm -hmm. crucial first down close to the end zone. But, um, I mean, we knew that was that was a matchup for them. Um, we don't feel like that's what killed us in this game. If, if you ask me, that's not um, the difference between us winning and losing. Um, you guys held them to three field goals in the, in the first half. I mean, is that, is that something you guys draw positive from, from preventing those touchdowns? Yeah, I mean, you can draw positives from from you know holding the field goals. I mean, that's obviously it's, I mean, field goal, holding the field goals is obviously better than um, them getting seven on us. But you know, at, at the end of the day, if, if we're if we're on the field that long, they keep driving the ball and it's down the field. Like Trey said, it's gonna that wear and tear is gonna is, is you know it's gonna wear on us throughout the game. And and so you know, holding them those field goals were pivotal and and did help. But at the end of the day, you know, just get, getting those three downs, getting those third down stops, were, was the most was the biggest point of emphasis that we that we really. Uh, wanted to get home on and unfortunately weren't able to. Thank Some. You guys. Oh. Thanks, good job.
Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. It, it looked like the seam actually got off to a decent start throwing the ball, uh, even under those conditions. Um, he had a long pass that I guess it was positive. Like, he had, there were a number of drops uh, that, that hurt him. Uh, how does that play into, you know, with, with your offense, where you have, especially on the road, where you have to make plays against a good defense? You have to make plays. And, uh, you know, I think as a quarterback, when you sometimes you throw a bad ball and a guy makes a great catch, and you have to realize you threw a bad ball, and then sometimes you throw a good ball, and you know, he doesn't catch it. You can't. You know, every play is the next play. You have to. You know, your mind is the most powerful thing in our body, and if you don't see yourself making a play, then you don't make it. So I thought he went out. Yeah, I think the first pass we got off, we got a first down on the first play, right through to Jarvis. Had a nice play, and gained some yards. And, um, and we went down, and got to third and three, and that's when we have the snap. That I feel like we had a good play there coming up. So. You said it best, Don. You have to make plays. That's what it's about. And, uh, we didn't make enough on offense. And, and again, I, I'm really proud of how hard our defense played. And they held them to 16 points, right? We gave them seven. But we, you know, we got, we got to get them off the field a little bit too. And uh, but they, you know, it was, this wasn't a very good day for us on offense, clearly. I know it might be a many factors, but why, why do you think it was a difficult to sustain a drive for more than you know, five, six points? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we, we stopped, we could, like I said, the first drive was a snap. The second drive, we got a really good play that got called back because we tried a false start. Um, the third drive, we got a couple first downs and a three interception. Um, so, you know, shouldn't have thrown it right, shouldn't have called it. If we run it, run it up the middle, and that's not good. It is what it is. But the first half, we only had three drives. And we were down, we were down six, uh, and we were down six. You know, 6 0 with, with not much time left, and they went on and made a play. So, you know, and, and to get it to 13, we still had a chance. We went out there in the second half, and uh, we didn't get it going. And obviously, we had the turnover in the end zone, which is just completely unacceptable and uh, disappointing. So, uh, it's too bad for our defense. Do you, do you know what happened on the big fumbles in this division? Yeah, it was, we had it just, he just, the motion, he just didn't time it up correctly. He hit the motion guy with the ball and put it on the ground. So. We had two more turnovers on offense today, both with the quarterback. So we have seven turnovers on the year. They're all at the quarterback position. You mentioned it's hard to call a game when you only have 39 plays like today. Did, does that go into those rotations? Or, and do you generally know what you're going to call? Or does the 39 plays change the way you look at the game? Well, I mean, you're not, you're, there's nobody ever planning on only having 39 plays on offense, right? Mm -hmm. and it's, like I said, it's a combination of they did a great job on offense of sustaining drives. Mm -hmm. Like I said, in the first half, it wasn't like we had seven drives. Like we had seven drives, and they were all three outs and 21 plays. And the defense, we only had three drives, and one of them, you know, we had first downs. We just, we just didn't sustain it in our defense. They did a very when we did hold the field goals, but those those long drives kept them on the field. So I mean, it was the weather mattered today, and it, both teams had to play in it, and they obviously managed it better than we did. They threw it in the flat a little bit. They made a couple throws, but for the most part, they ran the ball to the boundary, as, as somebody mentioned. And, they did a good job, and we weren't able to, to get our running attack going the way we had hoped we would. So it's a credit to them, credit to Iowa. They did a good job. Uh, well, in terms of not getting the running game going, was it, was it the, the blocking? Was it was it everything? Right? I mean, it's the calls, it's blocking, it's it's running, it's the whole deal. We we again we had some plays that kept. You know, what did we have? We had one holding it called a ten yard run back. Um, they said the false start was going to be a good play. So it's. It's a, you know, I don't know, you sit up here, I don't have the answers for that. I know we did a very good job, and we didn't win, and it's disappointing because we, we gave up 16 points on defense to a really, really good team, and, and that's great. They were on the field a long time, which isn't as good. Third down was hard. Um, so we want that to be better, but we have to score more points. I actually didn't, didn't score any, so I just thought about that. As an offensive guy, I mean, when you leave the field and you didn't score any points, like what, what's your personal promotion? How do you feel about it? I think it's the second time it's happened. Is that wrong? Uh, I told us uh, the defense headline had a pretty big day. What was it that uh, kind of got you out of your rhythm? Um, I think 
some of it was they did. I thought up front they could they controlled the line of scrimmage up front. Um, you know when we did try to run it up inside, they did a very good job of stopping us. And then um, and again, and then they they did a great job and they played really hard and their their front seven's really really good. And the, and the wind limited us being able to throw the ball down the field to loosen them up. So our underneath passing game was good in a couple situations. Then they obviously just like our defense did realized that's where we were going to be. So then we had to run the ball and run it up inside. And then, and then we just did we just didn't create the holes we wanted or didn't hit the holes we wanted or didn't call the right play. So all that credit goes to Iowa. And they did a tremendous job. I was like, oh, just, you know, we didn't have any yards and we didn't have any points. So great credit to them. And, and while I'm saying that we didn't play well enough, that's true. But obviously it's a tremendous credit to them. So I don't know what they did exactly, but they certainly did a great job. Matt, how critical, uh, you have two home games coming up. How critical is it the way the whole season is you know, and what you face at the end of the season. I know you only look at one game at a time, but yeah. but when you have two games back to back at home. What what? What's well, critical for us is to go back home and, and, and get ready to play Illinois and find a way to you know to win a game against a team that's certainly going to come in and play on winning a game against us. Uh, to stick together as a football team, uh, there's a million a million things we can all do uh, when you lose a football game, right? Yeah. With nothing else being mentioned here, I'm just saying when you lose a football game. Especially a game like this, it's very easy to have issues, right? We didn't score on offense. What's going on? Da, da, da. And uh, so it'll be a uh, be a challenge for our football team, our program, everybody in our building to stick together, which we've done a great job of, right? We've done a great job. Of. Today was disappointing, disappointing on me because I'm the guy calling the plays. I'm the guy doing it. We didn't score any points. We didn't move the ball. Um, so the, the blame is on me. But the challenge is to get up tomorrow, get off the mat. Get ourselves ready to go play, stick together, and find a way to win a game. And that's all we're worried about. And obviously, being two, two games at home to your question is great, but we're only worried about the next one. And just to follow up, you sort of touched on it. You said lose, losing a game like this, it'd be, you know, in normal circumstances, it would be, you know, it's, it's hard to, you know, you have to, you have to stay together. With what's going on back in Maryland and, and what, you know, the, the, the uh, Board of Regents next week. I mean, have possibly with findings. Does that make it harder, or do, and how how much more challenging does that make it as a coach, not knowing what what's going to happen, or not knowing even when it's going to happen? Right. I think you know there's a million answers to that question, Don. And I appreciate the question, but the answer is we're going to get up tomorrow. We're going to worry about the football game that we just lost. And I'm going to do the best job I can do, which today, like she pointed out, wasn't very good. But I'll be better tomorrow. And our kids are going to stick together tomorrow. We're going to come back. We're going to play practice tomorrow. We're going to turn the music on. We're going to condition a little bit. Monday they're going to go to class. We're going to come up with a better plan than we did for today. And that's the answer. And we can't control anything. We don't know. I mean, so there's a million answers. But the answer is we're going to focus on our job. Do the best you can with what you got where you are. Right now we're sitting here. I really, really, really wish we could play better. That's really all I care about at this exact moment in time. So we're four and three. Could be better. Could be worse. So we're gonna wake up tomorrow. Move on to the next one. What Thanks music are you gonna turn on? I don't know. Hopefully something I like. I might pick the music, Don. That's a great. Thing. <laughs>